Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast Radio. Well, if you're attracting global companies such as IBM as a partner, you must have something special to offer. Well, that is a feat which Louise Crotter's achieved with her startup business, Exit Entry, and Louise joins me now to tell us all about it. But Louise, Exit Entry is not your first foray into the business world. No, that's correct. This, I suppose you could call this my second business, but even as a teenager, I was always trying my hand at making a bit of money and being innovative. So um, this would be, I would say, my first technology business. And what lessons and learnings did you take from those early entrepreneurial experiences, Louise? I never took no for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so I always, I always believe and um, uh, that if you see an opportunity and a gap in the market, you go for it. Um, but also listen to your customer. Um, and that started from a very, very early age uh, for me. And to really, I suppose, listen to where the, what the need was and what customers needed. And just don't wait for somebody else to do it. Just go out and solve the problem yourself. And I believe it was your decision to return to college in your 40s which triggered the idea for exit entry. It did, yes. And I think I touched on the fact that obviously I'd worked in another business. I was at home and um, working from home at the time with uh, three young children. And I thought to myself, I, you know, I need to get back out into the workforce. And um, rather than sitting at home feeling sorry for myself, I thought I'll go back and retrain. Um, and I went back to actually look at different areas that I would be interested in um, educating myself in and, and uh, the universities that I wanted to look at. And actually what shocked me was the, nothing had changed in the terms of access to communication and opportunities in the 20 years that I'd been in college previously. And um, I had done some charity work previously and I thought, OK, there's the same people coming to these career fairs and there's the same um, booklets been given out and information. But what about um, the children from lower socioeconomic groups who don't have that support at home? They're still not been, they're still not been reached. Um, they're still been excluded. And I felt that obviously the world that we live in now is a highly digitalised world and I couldn't believe that nothing had progressed in terms of access um, to opportunities and the communication channel between that. And um, it bothered me to the point where I really felt that um, as part of the educational piece that I was doing um, in UCD that I really needed to focus um, my efforts in changing that. So let's fast forward to today, Louise. How does Exit Entry solve that problem? So Exit Entry is an AI-enabled tool, a technology tool, which looks at the skills and interests of an individual and matches that with opportunities. In one sentence, that's pretty much it. So what does that mean to you as a user? It means that we do not just um, measure academic ability. We look at skills and interests and how it aligns with opportunities for you as a user. So our users um, are in three markets. Uh, we have um, secondary school students. We have third-level students. And our science can be used um, also within the reskilling market. Um, so it gives a deeper insight into who that um, individual is and aligns their interest and skills with um, career pathways. So for you as a secondary school student, um, we have the Exit Entry app, which is free to use for any student. Um, they log in, they take two short assessments built on 60 years of research, which was developed in partnership with DCU. Um, they take the assessments and it aligns that with um, career pathways. So that's course choice. And we have a database within Ireland of 4,000 courses from PLC to PhD. We've also built into our um, secondary school app a virtual world of work experience, which we're working on with some uh, very exciting partners at the moment. And we're working on a pilot program with the um, NCGE on that as well in 15 schools. Um, and then for a third level student, it uses the same signs but maps that with employment opportunities. So there's um, the same app, but a different flow for third, um, third level students where they can take the assessments and then look at employers who are available that match their interests. So how does the revenue model work that underpins this business, Louise? So um, looking at the two different markets, um, obviously we have always positioned ourselves as, as the um, app being free to students and that's really important for us that there's no barriers to entry for any student from any background. And then the revenue model um, works on the school's um, side uh, in terms of employers who um, would advertise um, or uh, in terms of the work experience opportunities that we have there, there's a revenue model built around us. 
And then we have um, third level institutes as well that would um, advertise for scholarships, access programs, anything that is of interest to students around that. Um, in terms of the third level um, app, again, it's free to students to be able to access. And then we have employers on the far side of that funnel as well that would advertise um, opportunities on the basis of that. So talk to us about the partnerships which Exit Entry has created to date and perhaps you can provide us with an insight into how these partnerships are formulated. So, yes, um, if we look at the partnerships within the um, secondary school app, and I think, you know, really we brought the secondary school app to market much earlier than anticipated because of obviously the closure with schools and the fact that we wanted to be able to support school students while they were um, displaced from from schools. Um, We have very quickly been able to enter into some really exciting partnerships and one specifically with IBM around um, integrated modules of learning. So um, IBM have uh, some free, uh, a lot of free resources around um, uh, future work initiatives, which would be around um, cybersecurity, um, mindfulness and professional skills. And these are certainly within cybersecurity, that's a growing area of employment. So we've now integrated these modules of learning within the Exit Entry app for secondary schools. So any user that comes on and downloads the app within um, Exit Entry has access to these modules of learning from IBM, which then give them an accredited badge of learning um, from IBM, which is is fantastic because A, it gives them an insight into that world and, and what potentially that career pathway might look like. Um, but also gives them accredited badge from IBM where they can um, showcase that on their CV and also obviously learn about what that industry is about. Um, how that partnership came about was um, I had identified uh, the product that IBM had and felt that it really aligned with us in terms of creation opportunities for everybody. Um, they've launched the product in uh, 220 um, schools in 24 countries around the world. And um, we are now their partner within Ireland in terms of that. Another partnership that we have in terms of the secondary school app is with AIR. So um, AIR would um, advertise within the app in terms of, you know, life within AIR and the um, roles and the opportunities that are involved in there. So it gives a real insight into um, the world of work for a student, a secondary school student as they're coming um, up the funnel and out the far end into third level. We also have a fantastic partnership that we've just launched with Chartered Accountants of Ireland. So they have a senior cycle boot camp which um, they have launched and is integrated into the app now as well, where students can learn um, from Chartered Accountants Ireland um, things around critical thinking, business, finance and accounting. And are you looking for new partners at present? And if so, what sectors are you particularly interested in hearing from? Absolutely. So, I mean, at the moment, we have a huge interest from STEM STEM and finance, but we're also interested in areas like um, pharmaceuticals, um, healthcare, space, um, as I said, finance, any of those areas, and medical, um, where where those high growth areas are in terms of employment uh, for students. So we're sector agnostic in terms of, you know, our reach. We have every student from every background, so we want to be able to reach them with every opportunity that's available. Now, Louise, Exit Entry recently completed a €1 million funding round. How Mm -hmm. did you find this process and how will this funding be used to grow the business? We've been very fortunate. We have incredible investors and um, the people that have supported us from the beginning have supported us the whole way through to this uh, round of funding. So um, the process has been not necessarily easy, but it's, it, it, it's been an enjoyable process. The money will be used to um, capture the market within Ireland and then scale elsewhere. On the topic of scaling the business, of course, you're an Enterprise Ireland client and that comes with yeah. lots of benefits. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how are they going to be able to assist you over the next number of years crack that international market? Yeah, look, Enterprise Ireland have been there since the very beginning, you know, and we were spit into DCU and then they supported that initiative through the commercialisation fund and then we moved on to our next round of funding, which was HPSU, and they supported us with that, which has led to the €1 million um, Euros worth of funding. And um, So they're, all, they're part of our DNA. They're very much about who we are and where our growth is. They have a, an, an incredible network globally. Um, and hugely supportive of companies. So we see them in every part of our journey. Um, And, you know, this is the second part of our journey in terms of what we're doing within Ireland. And then as we uh, grow out outside Ireland and scale, they'll be able to, um, I suppose, have their support network for us to be able to engage with um, really exciting partnerships. 
And um, yeah, we're already having conversations with, with Enterprise Ireland about that. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Louise Crotters, and I'd like to wish Louise and the team at Exit Entry every success with the next stage of their exciting journey. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. South.